I got some good pictures like that last night. That was so cute with her laying back there. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, Hey guys, so you know, I'm back vlogging. I'm super excited about that because um, I know you guys were really enjoying the vlogs. So um, it is Friday morning and I don't even know what today's date is, the 21st. <laughs> it's Friday morning. Um, I just got off a call with the chef for the retreat. I was super excited. We talked through the menu. Um, and I'm about to reach out to a couple of more of the people that I would love to come and teach classes. It was kind of up in the air for a second there, what we were doing in person, how it was gonna happen. But now that we have confirmed all of our guests, virtual and in person, I can officially deep dive into planning. And today's gonna be pretty busy. So uh, I'm gonna take you guys along with me for the next couple days and then I will release this vlog. <laughs> the wine in the window. Oh. Hey. Oh, I can't get in. <laughs> okay, guys. So, I went in the Broken Tulip. I wanted to get some film, but it is a little... Um, we can't do a ton right now because of social distancing, but I did secure the package. I'm going to show you exactly what I got in just a second. So we are headed to the movies and I wanted some rosé. So we've got some rosé. Very, very tasty. I'm excited. And it's a screw cap, so we'll be good to go. And then I got us some goat cheese. Um, locally made. Um, so I'm super excited from the Broken Tulip. Now I am headed to dinner to meet Kathy and then I think we're gonna meet one of my girlfriends um, so that we can go to a double feature film outdoor movie. I'll keep you guys posted. I'm just like happy to be out of the house if I'm being honest. Like being stuck in the house has been a whole journey in itself. So I'm happy to not be in the house. I always secure really great parking spaces, by the way. I know you guys are probably like, oh my God, like, yeah, I'm right in front of the place and I always get close parks, always. All right, stay tuned. Chardonnay tasting earlier this week and the Chardonnay tasting actually um, was really great. I'm going to show you guys the wines that we had, talk to you about them a little bit, and then I've got to head out. Okay, so Wente, this, we had a Wente Chardonnay, we had a Ramy Chardonnay, and then we had the Kendall Jackson Chardonnay, which this is the number one selling Chardonnay in the country. Um, so that was actually kind of fun. You guys know I'm just placed out of my office. So all my new wine glasses I've been getting have been accumulating here. <laughs> um, these are from Crate and Barrel. Um, well, those are from Crate and Barrel. This is the glass I had already. I have no idea where that's from. These are, um, whew. hmm. I will link it because for some reason I'm drawing a blank. So I will, Raylo, I'm sorry. These are Raylo glasses. A black woman designed those. So it has the paint stripe down the front. Um, oof, oof. It has the paint stripe down the front. This is the green one. I wish she would sell this in a pink and green set because that would make my whole life complete. And then 
there is the white one. You guys ignore that rug in the background. My husband needs to move it to our bedroom to go under the bed. <laughs> um, but this is the white one, which I love. Let me move it a little bit so you can actually see the stripe. I just thought that was so sexy. So yeah, all right. So, um, these are the wines from the Chardonnay Tasting. They were all very delicious. If you are somebody who likes a high acid Chardonnay, um, these two were the highest in acidity. Um, the gentleman Randy from, sorry guys, the gentleman Randy from Kendall Jackson, he, um, said that he felt like the Kendall Jackson was a little bit higher in acidity than the Ramey. Um, I did not get that. On my palate, to me, this Ramey was much higher. It seemed like it, but, you know, we'll trust the winemaker. Um, so he, this just seemed way more acidic to me, but, um, he said that his was just slightly so, but they are basically almost equal in acidity. Um, the Wente was different. Um, I did really like this. It was not what I was expecting. To me, all three of them, um, they're worth trying. These are three, uh, they are different Chardonnays, okay? So, um, to me, they all, while they all, they do have their similarities because of course the Chardonnay grape has its um, standard, just kind of flavor profile. Um, but each of them has a little bit something different about it, which was actually really, really um, cool to try. So this was almost a horizontal tasting, except this one is a 2017. And a horizontal tasting is when you have three, uh, three different producers and um, it'll be the same vintage and same varietal. So these two are 2018. So that was horizontal, but this is um, a 2017. So not quite a horizontal tasting, but almost. Um, yeah, so I'll give you a quick last look at the bottles in case you are thinking about doing it. You can grab some friends and do this. Um, taste these Chardonnays next to each other, see which ones you like, see what different notes you pick up based on the winemaker style, how they're aged, all that good stuff. And let me know in the comments if you've had any of these or if they're your favorite. Okay, so you guys will have to tell me what other types of content you wanna see. Um, if you wanna see, so like drop it in the comments. Tell me if you wanna see like my home decor journey cause I am decorating very slowly. We've been in our house three years and I've never been sitting still long enough to decorate so that's part of what COVID has done for me um but you guys know like I just got these mirrors so super excited about those because this wall has been empty for so long um and then this table eh, I've played around with it that vase is new um and then I'm gonna put a plant right here as soon as I get a pot for it um so y'all let me know do you want to see my plant journey all that good stuff um I'll give you guys kind of a tour right now. She has grown a ton since I got her. She is flourishing. Um, I decided to move my bottle over here because a couple of my new plants really, uh, this is Courtney, um, this is Twan, that's Keeks. Um, a lot of my new plants, they need a ton of water. So I gotta keep them wet. So I decided to move my, um, Move my little sprayer over here. And what I have been doing since I brought these little babies home is just keeping the top of the soil nice and moist. So we'll see if they like what I'm doing. And pretty much, I mean, if they don't, having plants is a lot like anything else. Um, it's just trying it, seeing what works for them. So this is distilled water. I need some rainwater, but I just never think about going outside. Um, so we'll see. I had the plant store told me to keep it, keep them wet. So that's what I'm doing.
actually one of the new Black Girls Wine Society partners. So super excited. I don't think I can open this and hold the phone. I totally dig this. How cute is this? I just wanted to come back real quick. This dress, I got a, got a lot of compliments on it. It is from J Lux, the label. Um, I like that brand. They've got a lot of great basics, which is something I felt like I needed more of in my wardrobe. And um, I'm actually having a closet sale um, online this week. So I'm excited. I'm like really clearing out a lot of stuff. Um, so. As I continue to clear things out, I will keep you guys posted on like where I'm shopping, what I'm up to, because I know that I had some requests about that, like where I shop and that kind of stuff. I don't have a set location. I am an online shopper, um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. So this is a J Lux, the label dress. Um, I'm trying to give you guys like a really good view. Excuse the shoes by my door. Um, you know, I'm at home, so I don't necessarily have my help on. I just finished eating so don't judge my little my little baby pouch okay <laughs> um but i love this dress it's so cute and i really like the color that's what made me buy it <laughs> i was like oh baby like it was like that so i knew this yellow looks so, yellow looks so good on chocolate so all right y'all <laughs>